Hello, this is Mr. Ahmed and today we'll do lesson 2.4 use bar graphs and our essential question is how can you read and interpret data in a bar graph? So let's see what is the bar graph. Let's unlock the problem. A bar graph uses bars to show data. A scale of equally spaced numbers helps you read the number each bar shows okay let's see the problem here the students in the reading group made a bar graph to record the number of books they read in october how many books did seth read okay so here he says underline the words that tell you where to find the information to answer the question okay so what will help here is bar graph we'll use the bar graph to answer this question how many books did seth read okay so let's have a look at the bar graph here okay so here we have these are called bars okay as you can see so these are the bars and the scale here is where to start and where to end so the scale here is from 0 to 16 okay so here we have some information let's read it the title tells you what the bar graph is about so this bar graph is about books read in october each bar is labeled with the student's name so here we have the names max amy seth and kate the length of a bar tells how many books each student read so here we have for max the length of the bar it reaches until here which is actually at six so we can say that max read six and for example seth read it reaches until here which is at eight so Seth read eight okay and the last thing we have the scale as we said it's from zero until 16 okay so this is a range that we will draw the bars in okay so let's erase this and complete what's down okay here find the bar for Seth so this is a bar of Seth and it ends at let's see it ends at what so it ends here which means it ends at eight so seth read eight books in october okay here okay here how many books did max read okay so let's see max so max read until here so the length of the bar is six so max read six books okay here who read four fewer books than kate okay so let's see how many books did kate read so kate read here this is 12 so four fewer than 12 which is mean 12 minus 4 so 12 minus 4 is 8 so who read 8 who read 8 is seth so seth read four fewer than kate okay here what if Amy read five more books how many books did Amy read shade the graph to show how many she read okay so if Amy read five more let's look at the graph here so Amy actually read until here this is between 8 and 10 which is mean it is 9 so Amy read 9 if she read five more so nine plus five is 14 okay so we will shade until the 14 so, so it will be like this okay so this will be the new bar okay so he asks us here how many books it did Amir read? So it will be 14 books. Okay, these bar graphs show the same data. 
but here as you can see the lines are horizontal it's like this from left to right so we call this a horizontal bar graph so in a horizontal bar graph the bars go across from left to right the length of the bar shows the number okay and this one as you can see the bars are vertical so we call it vertical bar graph so in a vertical bar graph the bars go up from the bottom okay the height of the bar shows the number okay so what does each space between two numbers represent okay so down here these numbers are the number of students okay so here he counted by four so zero four eight twelve sixteen so the space each space here represents four students so each space here means four students okay here why do you think the scale in the graph is 0 to 28 by fours instead of 0 to 28 by ones what other scale could you use okay so here's the scale is from 0 to 28 and each time we are adding four we're counting by fours here he said why don't we count by ones like 0 1 2 3 4 until the 28 okay so this will require a lot of space so maybe the space here don't fit to go from 0 to 28 counting by ones okay so what other scale could we use we okay we we may use counting by two so counting by two zero two four six eight until the 28 it will require only 14 lines instead of 28 lines okay here let's go for share and show use the favorite way to exercise bar graph for one to three which activity did the most students choose okay so here it's about the favorite way to exercise so if we, we have here biking walking soccer and karate and here we have the number of students so which activity did the most students choose it's the longest one here which is the soccer okay so most boys actually like soccer okay number two how many students answered the survey so how many students in all answered the survey so let's see how many in each one first and add them all okay so we need the number of all the students so for biking it's in the middle here between six and eight which is mean it is seven between six and eight is seven walking is here which is at six and circle is let's change the color and circle is until here which is 14 and for karate we have until here which is 10 okay so let's add 6 7 plus 6 plus 14 plus 10 okay so first 6 plus 14 is actually 20 20 plus 10 is 30 plus 7 is 37 so they are 37 students okay so which activity received seven fewer votes than soccer okay so who has seven fewer than soccer okay let's see the soccer first the soccer has 14 students so seven fewer which is means 14 minus seven so 14 minus seven is seven so who is seven it's the biking so it's a biking okay so again what how, how we did number three which activity received seven fewer votes than soccer so first look at the soccer it's 14 seven fewer means 14 minus seven which is actually seven so let's see who 
has seven here which is biking so biking is seven fewer votes than the soccer okay guys hope you understand this lesson have a nice day and goodbye